progress in York County on what could be a big sports complex just took a big step forward today. Seth Kaplan knows all about it. Seth. Alicia, this is in North York. It's where the old Central York football field is. If you remember that, the old bleachers were there too until today. My grandma lived on the other side of the school, um, so I spent my Friday night down here. So did a lot of other people, but of all those people, Jeff Inch and his brother are the ones who think they can not only get rid of the blight, beginning with this demolition of the old bleachers, but turn the site into something better than it ever was. From this today to this, eventually the North York Sports Complex. We'll have eight basketball courts, 24 pickleball courts, um, 20 wrestling mats areas. We'll have a, a full field house for uh, football, lacrosse, soccer, baseball, softball training. Near one of the Mid-State's key highway interchanges. Right there you can see the cars from 83. You can see the cars from Route 30. So we literally sit on the two main arteries of, of Central PA. And people right now are driving long distances every night, taking their kids over to the other side of the river to Lancaster. Although Spooky Nook is several times larger than the North York complex will be, so the two facilities won't necessarily compete directly. And yes, this isn't just about keeping people in York from leaving York, but attracting others to York. Really, we just want to be that next project that really brings outside economics into the county. Having a Class A facility uh, within our tourism you know, asset inventory uh, really does up our game in York County to, for our ability to attract uh, athletic competitions from outside the area to come and stay overnight here. I asked York County Economic Alliance's Kevin Schreiber what kinds of competitions. Think of any York Countyan that's uh, you know traveling somewhere else right now for their uh, for their children's uh, basketball tournaments, for volleyball tournaments, for wrestling, um, you know, that we call them sort of the minivan conventions. Um, there's a whole lot of minivans that could be coming into York. And so when might those minivans start coming? This will take time. You saw the demolition happening at step one. Inch Sports is still working on project financing. They hope to schedule a groundbreaking for later this year. Alicia, they say it's too soon to project when the complex could actually open. Looks like it could be very cool, Seth. Thank you.